Welcome to Geography Nuts. We love everything geography. Exploring this wonderful planet is our passion. Hope you're having a great day and thank you for stopping by. Today's destination is Costa Rica. Are you ready to explore? I am sure you are going to have so much fun and learn a lot about Costa Rica. National Geographic magazine ranked Costa Rica as the happiest country in the world. World Happiness Report also consistently ranked Costa Rica as one of the happiest country on their list. Would you like to know why Costa Ricans are the happiest bunch? Continue to watch and I'll explain later in this video why Costa Ricans are happy. But before we go there let me introduce to this wonderful nation. Costa Rica, officially Republic of Costa Rica is located in Central American Isthmus, connecting North America and South America. It is bordered by Nicaragua, Caribbean Sea, Panama and the Pacific Ocean. This ecological paradise of sandy beaches, protected tropical forest and pristine waterfall has an ambitious plan to become carbon neutral by end of this year. 99% of the energy comes from renewable resources such as hydroelectric, solar and wind. Costa Rica is administratively divided into seven provinces, capital and the largest city is San Jose. It is the epicenter of government, commercial, culture and transportation. More than a million people travel through the city each and every day. It is higher considering the city's population is less than 350,000. Costa Rica's flag has blue, white and red color scheme. Blue stands for sky above Costa Rica, determination, ideals and intellectual thinking of the people. White means peace, happiness, wisdom and freedom. Red represent love, generosity and warmth of Costa Ricans. It also stands for the people who died and shed blood to defend the country. Code of arm is placed in the flag in the center slightly toward the left. The code of arm features three volcanoes on the lush green valley in between the two oceans. The volcano represent the three main volcanic mountain ranges in Costa Rica. The green valley represents the green landscape, mainly the central valley. The oceans on the either side account for Atlantic and Pacific oceans. The ships symbolizes the port on either side of Costa Rica. Seven stars in the sky represent the seven Costa Rican provinces. The rising sun on the left represents the economic prosperity white banner with the word Republica de Costa Rica sits beneath the two branches of Mara. A blue scroll ribbon float above the shield with the word America Central to honor the United Province of Central America that Costa Rica was part of. There's a lot of symbolism in this code of arm. Let's move to Costa Rica is the third smallest country in Central America after Belize and El Salvador. It has about 200 kilometers long Caribbean coast and 1000 kilometer long Pacific coast. Costa Rica's geography mainly consists of coastal plain dissected by towering mountains. The central mountain region contains four main mountain ranges. The highest point of Costa Rica is Chero Charipo at 3,821 meters. In addition to this mountain, there are over 200 volcanoes identified in Costa Rica, five of which are active. Puas Volcano, which erupted in 2017 and twice in 2019, has a crater lake about 300 meters wide. It is one of the world's most acidic lakes. The pH level can sometimes reach zero. Costa Rica, 
Actually, most of Central America sits on the Caribbean tectonic plate. It borders the Cocos Plate in the Pacific Ocean. Cocos Plate is being subducted beneath the Caribbean Plate. This is what causes the volcano in the Central America. This area is known as Central American Volcanic Arc. Costa Rica has 14 major river systems originating from the Central Mountain region. Some drains into Caribbean Sea and the others drain into Pacific Ocean. The longest river is San Juan. It makes up the part of the border with Nicaragua. However, the longest river that is fully within Costa Rican boundary is Tarabe River. It runs about 160 kilometers. Costa Rica doesn't have too many large lakes. The largest one is Lake Anau. Most of Costa Rica's coastal areas are either covered in beautiful beaches or amazing mangrove. Some of the beaches even have black sands. Beside the mainland, Costa Rican territory include over 100 islands in both sides, Caribbean and the Pacific. Some of them are inhabited, the others are not. One of the notable one is Cocos Island. It is located approximately 550 kilometers southwest of Costa Rica's mainland. It is the southernmost point of North American continent. Costa Rica is one of the most biodiverse places in the planet Earth. More than half a million species live here, representing 4% of all species exist in the world. Costa Rica has over 25% of its land as protected area, either in national park or wildlife reserve. So, time to finish up the geography. How do you like it so far? Are you enjoying yourself? Great! Let's move on to Costa Rica has tropical and subtropical climate with two primary seasons. The dry season is hot and humid and the wet season is usually humid with overcast and frequent rain. The average temperature is around 27 degrees. The coastal lower lands are a little bit lower and the high mountain temperatures are even low. Costa Rica receives lots of rain. September and October are the wettest months. Done with the climate, it's time to go see... History! Let's start the history from the very beginning. Archaeological evidence of a stone tools suggest that humans were living in Costa Rica as far back as 10,000 years BC. Diki civilization is one of the most advanced civilizations lived in Costa Rica. They are known for their ability to make gold pendant. They also made these mysterious monolithic spears and the purpose and the use of them are mystery to us to this day. Christopher Columbus claimed the land for Spain on his fourth voyage and named it Costa Rica. Sixty years later, Spain successfully colonized Costa Rica. However, because of lack of precious metal in the area, Spain didn't feel it's worth it to develop. So the settlers developed small-scale farms. Coffee was introduced to Costa Rica and soon became a principal crop. Central America, including Costa Rica, gained independence from Spain in 1821. And soon after that, it joined the short-lived Mexican Empire. After the Mexican Empire failed, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras and Nicaragua all joined and formed United Provinces of Central America as a one country and Joan Mora Fernandez became the first elected head of the state. Province of Guanacaste separated from Nicaragua and joined Costa Rica. Costa Rica became fully independent after the United Provinces of Central America separated in 1938. Costa Rica elected President Jose Jacqueline Rodriguez and made history as a first country to have entirely free and honest election in Central America. However, from 1913 to 1990, Costa Rica went through political instability and dictatorship. Later in 1948,
first major civil war broke over a presidential election and lasted 6 weeks later the same year government was restored with jose figures as a president he abolished the army and to this day costa rica doesn't have any military costa rica is a peace loving democratic country for the most part it kept out of trouble and even tried to help other central american countries costa rica took in many refugees from other central american countries and costa rica's economy was affected by the violence in the area costa rican president oscar arias helped keep the peace in central america and he received a nobel prize for his efforts in 1987 costa rica is working very hard to care for its people and the environment and making history every day this is a good place as i need to leave the history and move on to people and culture as i mentioned before costa ricans are some of the happiest people on the planet they call themselves ticos and ticas costa ricans have a unique way of greeting you they don't say hi or hello they say pura vita meaning simple life or pure life they don't just say this word they live a simple pure life too costa rican culture is a lively blend of indigenous heritage and spanish colonial culture with a sprinkle of jamaican chinese and other immigrant cultures costa ricans are laid back and friendly people Costa Ricans has a population of just over 5 million people. Majority of Costa Ricans are white, actually either castizo or mestizo. Next major group is mulattoes at 7%. Third popular group is ethnic Amerindians at 2%. Most of them live in a secluded reservation. Afro Costa Ricans account for only 1% of the population. Most of them are descendant of 19th century black Jamaican immigrant workers. The remaining 6% are immigrants from all over the world. Costa Rica's official language is Spanish. Many people can speak English. Actually 10% of the population can carry a conversation in English. Amerindians speak indigenous languages as well. Religion plays an important role in Costa Rican culture. Almost 80% of the population identify themselves as Catholic. Catholicism is almost like an official religion, but it's not. It has influenced many laws over the years such as prohibition, death penalty and abortion. Every town, no matter how small it is, has a church. Costa Rican cuisine is fairly mild and include lots of fresh fruits and vegetables. Rice and black beans are staple in most traditional Costa Rican meal, often served 3 times a day. Some of the famous dishes include galleo pinto, usually served for breakfast made of rice and beans. The casado is not a singular dish, but is a dish made up of many food. usually rice beans salad tortilla and a choice of meat or fish costa rican tamales are different from mexican tamales it is milder and wrapped in banana leaf tamales can be a meal on its own or it can be served with beans or other other proteins costa rican food looks amazing so let's move on to sports before i get hungry and go to my fridge soccer AKA football is the most popular sports in Costa Rica. Basketball is also another popular one. Water sports such as surfboard and stand up paddleboard are becoming popular. Would you like to know why Costa Ricans are some of the happiest people on the planet? It is no secret. There have been many articles on the subject and I have read some of them. What I understand is the combination of factors that contribute to their happiness culture history and geography play a significant part costa ricans live in the moment their family bond is very strong they have access to healthcare and the life expectancy is high they have high literacy rate they are very religious and generous people 
and most of all their nature to live a simple life contribute to their happiness let's move to economy costa rica's economic development is a success story in many aspect it is an upper middle income country Costa Rica's economy is growing steadily for the past 25 years. Now the COVID-19 pandemic is challenging these achievement like many other countries. The combination of political stability, high quality education, reliable environmental policies, social contract, foreign investment strategies and steady growth in the economy have reduced the poverty level to very low. in all of latin america and the caribbean costa rica's economy is the 84th biggest economy in the world right now currency is costa rican colon about 600 colon is equal to 1 united states dollar exports bananas coffee sugar and beef are the backbone of the commodity exports various industrial medical devices and processed agricultural product are broadening the exports further costa rica's impressive biodiversity also make it a key destination for ecotourism costa rica's main trading partners are united states the major one others are china guatemala mexico the netherlands belgium panama and germany there are no trade barriers to costa rica and the customs and duties are relatively low hope you learned something new and interesting about costa rica please let me know how do you like learning about these countries i would love to hear from you costa rica is one of the safest place to visit you know if you want to go for a vacation you can relax on a beach or go for a hike to one of those volcanic mountains or zip line over rainforest or walk on a rope bridge in the cloud forest there are so many things to do one day i love to visit poas volcano crater lakes and take in the view and check out the most acidic lake in the world the next country i'm going to do is panama It's going to be the last Central American country. Can you believe it? I'll be sad leaving Central America. I'm having so much fun. If you haven't already, check out other Central American videos that I have in the link below. If you're so kind, could you please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel? It would help me tremendously. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.